Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are alphaclaimsandhire.co.uk, Birmingham's leading accident management company with £1,000 referral with the code SCAR10. When I first seen this story, I thought he was in America. I was surprised to find out he was actually from Gloucester. This teenager, 19-year-old Kyle Davis, idolised the Columbine killers and also Anders Brevik. And he has been sentenced today to 16 years in prison trying to obtain a Glock 17 handgun via the dark web and he used a cryptocurrency so he used Bitcoin. Reading from the initial report by Sky News a British a teenager who saw the Columbine killers as poster boys and had a deep and persistent interest in mass shootings has been found guilty of trying to buy a gun and ammunition to endanger life. Kyle Davis 19 was arrested last June after a parcel was delivered to his home in Gloucester it was intercepted at Newark Airport in New Jersey. It was found to contain a Glock 17 handgun magazine and five rounds of ammunition raw material and Davis's electronic devices including instructions following footsteps of Anders Breivik and other mass murderers following the trial at Gloucester Crown Court Davis was found guilty of attempting to possess a firearm with intent to endanger life and attempting to possess five rounds of ammunition with intent to endanger life the judge told him he would be sentenced at a later date and further information to find out the risk you were prone to Crown Prosecution Service rejected his claim he wanted to buy the weapon to kill himself. The evidence showed he was planning a mass shooting. The volume and amount of research he did was not of somebody who was trying to kill themselves, said Rachel Scott, head of the CPS Southwest Complex Case Work Unit. The material he had pointed to him wanting to commit a mass murder. He had literally handwritten notes of obtaining gas masks and body armour, along with rifles, bullets, more ammunition etc etc he even worked out the cost that this would actually cost him and he denied all the charges against him and he used bitcoin to purchase the weapon and ammunition from an online gun dealer through the dark web the teenager had hundreds of pages of documents relating to massacres and explosives on a usb stick on his laptop he also was found guilty of possessing child porn he had 250 different images of child porn and two videos on his phone he got a different sentence for that but it's to run concurrent to his, his 16 years. He had m material about the Norwegian massacre, the Columbine shooting. The Columbine massacre that occurred in April of 1999 in Colorado, the United States. The perpetrators were 12th grade seniors called Eric and Dylan. They murdered 12 students and one teacher before committing suicide. 10 students were killed in the school library where Harris and Dylan would then go on to commit suicide. 21 additional people suffered gunshot wounds and they dressed in long coats in, like Neo in the Matrix and people started to sort of copycat them they started to replicate this massacre in america and now it seems that it's influencing some children in england the prosecutor said he had researched and saved in vast quantities and revealed a deep and a persistent interest in them and that basically the columbine killers were his poster boys that's actually how they described it in court he wanted trench coats gloves body armor leg pistol holders and he had spent more than a thousand pounds to buy the gun online given evidence at his trial davis denied he was intending to carry out a mass shooting he said he wrote lists of equipment out of boredom and during free periods at school davies said he was putting himself into the mindset of mass murderers such as the columbine killers who he said most closely associated with him i wasn't claiming to kill anyone i didn't have a specific plan he said it was a vague idea i considered using explosives to kill some myself but i didn't really pursue it very much so he openly admits that he felt out, like an outcast and i suppose this is something that contributes to a lot of people man a lot of people just don't feel like they can talk to people asked in court if he felt revulsion about the columbine massacre he said he disagreed with it but wouldn't say revulsion that was a strong word he made an image of 77 stick people this was to represent the victims of anders breivik or brevik depending on how you pronounce it in norway they pronounce it breivik but in england i've always heard it pronounced brevik anders did the massacre in norway in 2011 and in court davis said 77 people was a lot of people to kill on your own so he expressed like that was a that was a high score for him as such the parcel was delivered to davis's address containing the gun and ammunition that was intercepted at newark airport an undercover officer delivered a replica package to the teenager's address in gloucester on june the 20th last year his mother signed for the delivery and police waited outside the house to ensure the parcel was delivered to davis firearms officers were then sent into the property and arrested the teenager so they sent firearms officers even though they knew the gun was a replica and it wouldn't go off 
off. He was heard saying, as he was brought out, you should have just shot me. I haven't technically possessed anything anyway, he said. Following the conviction, Scott Crabb, special agent with US Homeland Security, said investigations were ongoing to identify who sold the gun to him, so they didn't find out who he's selling the gun, so that means it's still possible for young kids from the UK to be able to buy guns on the internet from black marketers with Bitcoin, especially with whatever was going on with Kyle Davis that made him want to basically kill a lot of people for no real reason. With the Norwegian massacre as well, Anders actually made a manifesto. He was against immigration. He was against multiculturalism. He actually went to an island where young people that wanted to be MPs, like politicians that was part of the Labour Party in Norway, the young Labour Party, like the next generation. It was an isolated island. It was like a horror movie. He actually just killed 77 of these young people, including people that worked there as well, like older people as well. And rest in peace to all the people that lost their lives. But in a bizarre twist of events in Norway, they have this rehabilitation system, right? He only got 21 years in prison. That is the maximum you can get in prison for murder, even though he took 77 people's lives. So Norway's rehabilitation is very different. They see it as they need to give someone a chance. So for example, CB got 23 years for possession of a firearm and waving a gun at police in East London in Newham. They would see that as him not being able to be rehabilitated later on in life if he comes out too late in life. Anders killed nearly 100 people and he's going to still be able to come out of prison probably when he's about, I'm not sure, I think he was in his 30s. He's going to come out of prison and still be able to live a portion of his life, which is quite interesting to be honest. I'd love to hear people's opinions on Norway's rehabilitation uh, theories as well and the way law works over there. Do you think it's fair and do you think it's just? And I also want to hear what people have to say about Carl Davis, team mass shooting plotter from Gloucester and uh, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and there's plenty more news on the way so turn on the bell for notifications thank you